morning all. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently I'm losing my voice. I myself some coffee. It's actually almost afternoon. So I'm trying to work with the video that I recorded yesterday. It was on a different camera, an actual video camera. Apparently it saves it in an MOD file. So I have to see if I can somehow convert it all back to an MPEG. <coughs> so I don't know if I'm going to be using that camera anymore. That is just too frustrating. So we'll probably just be staying with the GoPro at this point. <coughs> uh, hopefully I can get this stuff converted. If not, I'll have to fill you guys in everything that happened yesterday and have to apologize for not getting a video out yesterday, which would suck at this point. Let's see. Oh, you're wide awake. Hi, you. Hey. It's been a lazy day so far. Sarah and Elaine are taking a bath right now in our uh, nice jacuzzi bath. I actually just turned the bubbles off. But before that, we were all just kind of laying around on the couch doing nothing, watching some videos, and uh, we're just hanging out. So I'm going to try to get back to this, converting it, and we'll see how well that goes. So one thing I should probably mention or talk about is the MSU U of M game yesterday. So my dad went to U of M and I have a lot of family who went to U of M and a lot of family who went to state. So it's always a, a big rivalry within the family. I did not watch the game. I want to put that out there right now. I was checking in on it and I kept seeing, you know, U of M ahead, ahead, ahead. And then all of a sudden I saw Facebook posts from um, the Spartan family. So I checked it out. I haven't seen the play, but without really knowing too much about it, I think it's very tragic. I mean, uh, I've seen the probability of the, the play happening and it's just one of those, I think someone told me once, sports is amazing because anything can happen. Does it doesn't matter if you're the worst team or the best team, anything can happen. And that was a game where anything did happen. That last play, the the punt and return just one in a million chances. I think it's even greater, less probability of that happening. But on one side it shows U of M is a good team. They just had one huge mess up at the very end that they can actually go pretty far this year, which is great. I think Harbaugh's doing a a good good job so far and I was a highly skeptic because everyone was so on the Harbaugh team and I was no let's actually let him see what he's done before we do anything but it reminded me of Lloyd Carr at this point so with, that's a good thing uh, and State is proving that potentially they're not as good as everyone thought they were this year but we'll see they, they might keep up they're undefeated it's just they're sloppy in defeats so when MSU or excuse me OSU comes around for both teams, it'll be a big game. So we'll we'll see what happens at those. Well, here's sleepy little Miss Evelyn. So I just finished recording the um, Disney packing video that uh, I am currently uploading right now, and hopefully went up last night. I uh, just wanted to let you know kind of what. Elaine and I did all day. Oh, anger baby. Uh, we really didn't do much of anything other than hang out around here. We um, went by the ATM to deposit some things and um, just kind of had a lazy day because this week is going to be kind of busy with Joe's birthday. And then uh, my birthday is actually on Saturday too, so um, we've got a lot planned for what's going to happen this week, so that's kind of exciting. Um, so got everything together to put in the, the Disney bag and just kind of hung out. Um, now I'm hanging out with little Miss Evelyn who's probably getting ready um, to want to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna eat something here in a minute, even though it's like 9.40, um, because I realize I have not eaten dinner yet. <laughs> That's one of the things about uh, having kids, especially 
little little babies, newborns, um, sometimes you forget to eat and that's really not a good thing. So I am going to go heat up some of the pizza from yesterday because that sounds delicious and probably have a leftover cupcake. And then I'm going to finish washing the diapers because today is a diaper washing day and um, maybe do a load of laundry or two. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Today was a kind of boring, really lazy day. Uh, Sundays kind of suck because Joe goes to work really early and then sometimes he gets home around 11, 1130-ish at night, and then we can kind of hang out for a couple hours before bed, um, but we'll see. I actually have not heard how today is going, so I don't know what time he'll be home or if he'll be home before I head to bed. Really all depends on this one and how she decides to sleep or not sleep. <laughs> you just do not want to keep that past fire in. But yeah, so that's pretty much, pretty much the day and uh, what's happening. So, um, I guess I will see you tomorrow. So, thanks for watching and have a good night. I know I just said good night, but apparently we have a little lizard friend. I don't know how he got into the house or when. But he did, and he has somehow managed to make it into our bedroom. So, I am going to get this little guy out of here and hopefully back outside without harming him. So, yeah, but I thought I would document the lizard that scared the crap out of me about two seconds ago. When I picked something up, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden something was scurrying up my arm. I surprisingly did not shriek like I did with those silverfish bugs I discovered the other day, which those things are terrible. Spiders, I can handle. Palmetto bugs, which for the rest of the country knows as cockroaches, I can handle those too. Those little silverfish fish things, no. No, I do not want those in my house. I do not want those anywhere on the planet at all. Ever. Ever, ever. They're terrible. They're so creepy. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get this little guy out of here. All right, now good night for real this time.